For those of you who are new to this circus, please take a look at the previous video that I uploaded about this train wreck. Basically, Fresh from the Fresh and Fit podcast has been exposed for knocking up a Chinese immigrant who calls herself Daisy. Daisy accused Fresh of leading her on and demanding that she terminate her pregnancy. Well, Myron Gaines, the fit in Fresh and Fit, recently did a podcast where he exposed Daisy for being a S worker, allegedly. I'm only showing a screenshot here to avoid copyright issues, but this is a screenshot from a video where Daisy was negotiating her services with a gentleman, allegedly. Myron also exposed her for being fired from a job for a long list of reasons, including stealing from the company and having an inappropriate relationship, again, allegedly. Because I don't know the source of the documents, and for all I know, the evidence could have been generated by AI. The point of this video is to point out that Myron wasted his time with that damage control podcast. No one cares about Daisy being an S worker. That's never really been up for debate. He's trying to expose her to deflect from what's really going on here, which is they don't practice what they preach. Myron allegedly got caught up in something similar a few years ago. They're doing everything that they tell their minions not to do, and that's the definition of fraudulent. And Fresh certainly isn't the type of guy who anyone should be taking relationship advice from. The guy goes unprotected with multiple women, and at least one of them is an alleged S worker. Why doesn't he value his health? I believe Daisy is probably going to shake Fresh down for some cash. It's not that difficult to get fake positive pregnancy tests and ultrasounds. She will probably demand a certain amount of money to terminate a fake pregnancy. She'll get her cash and she'll move on to the next sucker. It's possible that she really is pregnant and she probably thought Fresh was going to marry her. After all, S worker or not, Fresh did take her to meet his mother. They even took a picture together. Maybe Daisy thought Fresh was a Captain save -a China has that whole social credit system. So if Daisy is guilty of the allegations, with her record, finding a good man would be difficult. Why do I care about any of this? Well, Fresh and Fit lost their YouTube monetization due to racism against black people. They had a KKK hood and everything. Take a look at both of them and let that sink in. I think the Damage Control podcast was very deceptive. They're exposing Daisy in an attempt to make their followers forget the fact that Fresh got finessed by an alleged S worker for doing the very things that they tell their followers not to do. And if she is guilty of being a S worker, thief and scammer, doesn't that make Fresh look even worse? Because how are you giving people advice about how to avoid women like Daisy when you can't even avoid women like Daisy? Stay tuned for the next update. Be sure to drop your feedback below and like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.